sour soup is, not surprisingly, both hot and sour. I'll show you how to get both those flavors in a fantastically delicious soup. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make one of my favorite, favorite dishes, hot and sour soup. And I got to tell you this, I have this, this is my first cookbook that I ever owned. Um, this taught me how to cook, honestly, because if you can cook Chinese food, you learn a lot of things about preparation, about having things ready, the order of things, how they go in, you know, this has got to go in before that. Anyhow, this was my first cooking book. I won't even tell you how old this is. And there's not an actual exact recipe for hot and sour soup in here, but it's one that I kind of followed from years ago. Now, what is all in this? All right, so we're going to have pork tenderloin, about four ounces of that. You can tell it's been in the freezer because I'm going to make it nice and cold so it's easy to cut thin strips. We're going to julienne the strips. We're going to do the same thing with the carrot. We're going to put about three slices of ginger in. We're going to use about a tablespoon of regular soy sauce, about two teaspoons of dark soy sauce, which apparently this is the most difficult thing on the earth to find because we went to four different, no, five different stores to find this. Uh, and then we're going to use one teaspoon of sesame oil. We're going to have some shiitake mushrooms, but super important, shiitake mushrooms should be the dried kind and then because they have more flavor, the texture is better, and there's some kind of ribonucleic acid issue with them having been dried first. But they've been, I've already got these soaking and we want about a half a cup of those. It's about a third of an ounce to a half of an ounce dry weight. I'll show you that. We're gonna, this is fungus. Uh, it's also called wood ear mushrooms. This grows on, this is the stuff that's kind of rubbery, but it's got a fantastic texture and you cut it thinly. You gotta have that in the soup. And then the thing about making hot and sour, the two things. The hot is white pepper with a little bit of red chili and the sour is the vinegar. And people use different kinds of vinegar, but I will tell you this, plain old garden variety white vinegar is just fine. This is 5% uh, acidity. This works fantastically. You could also use red chili oil. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use the pepper and a couple of red chili peppers. We've got some uh, bamboo shoots. I'm gonna cut, cut those in small pieces. Fungus has got to also hydrate, but it, don't, it only takes about 15 minutes. These things, the shiitake mushrooms, at least an hour, preferably two hours. Dried lily blooms, uh, they take a little bit long too. I would rinse them once because they're a little strong. I've got tofu, and you might know everybody on the earth disagrees on whether you use firm tofu or soft tofu. I'm using firm because it sticks together better, it doesn't come apart, you can stir the pot without breaking it up into different pieces that don't look nice. We've got a couple of eggs, cornstarch, eight cups of chicken broth. What's key about this chicken broth, that's why I'm not using base this time, is because it, this is low sodium and you don't, you got plenty of salt in the soy sauce. If you need to add salt, it's always easier to do at the very end. All right, the first thing to do before you do anything else is take the pork and put it in the freezer. I would say at least 45 minutes because it's tough to cut meat as thinly as we want to make it without having it pretty, be pretty firm. We're going to use about a third of an ounce to a half an ounce or so of mushrooms and all of the dry ingredients. So I'm going to put the scale on and so I have an idea about where that is. And if we look at that, it's set on zero. It's about two of these mushrooms, but to, to, for, for a third of an ounce, I'm gonna go up to a half an ounce, so there's three mushrooms. And the way to do that is get some, not boiling, just south of boiling, nice hot water. And then one way to take care of this is to put some paper towel over it. And that will help soak it. And this needs, to, this needs to soak for at least an hour, preferably two hours. You want this to be completely rehydrated. So this pork tenderloin has been in the freezer for about 45 minutes. I'm going to take off about four ounces of that, which I'm just gonna eyeball as being about that. We're gonna cut this fat off of here. 
and then we'll put this back in the freezer and use this for something else. So Sharon was questioning my four ounces. Yeah, yeah she was. Uh, <laughs> You're the one who said, I wonder how close to four ounces this is. I don't think I'm going to. Lawyer, lawyer, let's look at it. That's pretty doggone close right there. All right, so we're going to cut this nice and thinly. We don't want them too long. This is probably the most time consuming part of this. This is not a very good piece altogether here. A tablespoon of water, teaspoon cornstarch. Two teaspoons of vegetable oil. About a teaspoon of regular soy sauce. And we're going to mix that up. And we're going to put our meat in here and mix that up nicely. Just do that with your hands. This will help marinate it. This, the cornstarch will make this a little more silky. It'll also help this not stick together when we put it in the broth so that the individual pieces of meat can be in the soup rather than all clumped up. All right, we just let that set aside till we're ready to put it into the soup. All right, we're gonna get the shiitake mushrooms. These have soaked for two hours. We're gonna cut the stems off. Cut these nice and thinly. And believe it or not, these are still not completely hydrated. If you look at that, that right in there, but that will hydrate in the soup as it cooks. We'll just put these in first. And what I'm gonna do while I'm preparing everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in some water. This is a horrible name for something. <laughs> if you look at this gelatinous thing, I mean, you're just going, can you actually eat it? And the answer is yes, and these are fantastic. You gotta cut them thinly, but this adds total texture to the soup. It's the wood ear, the ear wood, the wood ear mushroom. It's, and sometimes they just call it black fungus. You it can, sounds equally disgusting. It's disgusting. But I will tell you this, you can get these already cut in thin strips in the bag. In fact, I have some. I just chose to use these because I think they look cooler. This is good, about that much. About that much right there. All right, so here are the, uh, the lily leaves, lily petals, what are they called? I forget what they're called. Anyhow, you wanna just cut those down a little bit. We'll just put them in here with this. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, then we wanna cut the chilies and I am gonna leave the seeds in. And you could rehydrate these if you wanted to. They will cook up pretty quickly though. Probably not all those seeds. And then we'll take those seeds out. All right, on the ginger, this won't take long because we're just gonna put about three slices and then we're gonna slice those up. Three thin slices of ginger, that's all we're gonna use and chop that up. Finally, all right, vegetable peeler on this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Ish. all this carrot obviously just put I'm gonna put these in over here because I'm gonna cut those I'm gonna cook those first we're just about done cutting up things now we're gonna do the bamboo sprouts nice and thinly Tofu. All right, this is already cut some. All right, well, that's not cut much. This is about all we're gonna use right here. 
All right, so we won't slice this. We'll just come straight up and down. All right, I'm actually gonna use the onion, probably about the middle part right here for actually in the soup. I'm gonna cut these nice and thinly. The tops, you could cut these on the bias, on the diagonal and they look cool, but I think they look good just like this. All right, so we'll get our eggs ready. I'm gonna use two, some people only use one. You don't have to put it all in there if it's looking like it's too much. And again, I'm going to add just a little bit of cornstarch to this. Because that should help make that a little silky as well. And then we'll whisk these up. Some say hot and sour soup appeared as early as the Han Dynasty, which was 206 BC to 220 AD, one of the longest dynasties in China. Some say the soup was invented much later in the Qing Dynasty, which was 1644 to 1912. Nobody knows for sure. Originally, this soup was used for medicinal purposes for colds and the flu, and it's because of the clear broth, the vinegar and the hot spices that it's good for chest and head colds. Both Beijing and the Sichuan provinces claim it as their regional dish. But as we know, Sichuan is known for spicy hot food, so there's a good bet on that one. Whenever and wherever hot and sour soup originated, it's usually the dish that I first judge a Chinese restaurant's cuisine. Everything's ready, okay? This is gonna go by actually pretty quickly now. So here we go, we're gonna start off with our carrots, our ginger, and the uh, red pepper. Not even a tablespoon. The carrots in there, the ginger, and the red pepper. And the order on here is not super, super important, except you do want to put the carrots first because they will take the longest. The heat's coming off that pepper already. Eight cups of chicken broth. Again, low sodium. I'm gonna dump this out, and then we're gonna put some of the soup in here and separate this so these don't stick together. All right, so this is boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in and let them cook so we make sure they're completely hydrated. That needs to cook the longest next. And then I'm going to take some of this broth and just start to cook this pork. This is the best way to do it because you can start lifting this apart. See that? This is perfect. This is what always happens. If you don't do this, it's going to clump up and get stuck to each other. And you don't want that. All right. There we go. Looking good. Fungus, lily leaves, lily petals. Dry lily flowers is what that is. Dry lily flowers. All right, I'm gonna wait a while to put the tofu in because even though it's firm, it's to, it can come apart very easily. At this point, I'm gonna let this cook about eight minutes after it boils again, and then I'm gonna just simmer it. Okay, so this is cooked about 10 minutes, and the, I just tasted it. It has no salt virtually at all, not a lot of flavor yet but we're getting ready to have some. So here comes a tablespoon of regular soy sauce. And then we'll check the salt later. Then two teaspoons, two teaspoons of dark soy sauce. Oop, there's the rest of that. Don't want to add too much of that. This can overpower. And then one teaspoon of sesame oil. That's a heaping teaspoon of that. All right, so one teaspoon of white pepper. A third to a half cup of white vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. 
I'm gonna leave just a little out. One quarter teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna use soy sauce instead of salt. I'm gonna put in about a half a tablespoon more. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this vinegar. So it's gonna be a full half cup of vinegar. The vinegar made the difference. Just a little more heat, not much, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the tofu. And nothing else should change the flavor except it's gonna be watered down just a little bit when we put the thickener in. Cornstarch slurry, make sure you mix it up again because it'll settle to the bottom. The cornstarch and the water, we may or may not put all of it in there. It's after it heats up again and you put the egg in it, it'll get thinner than you think it is. I think that's good right there. All right, we're gonna let it come back up. Stir these eggs up. I'm gonna turn it off and let this completely stop. I like that thickness there. I'm gonna get a whirl going on it and I'm just gonna drizzle it in in a circular fashion. And we let it set. It is cooking. That's so cool. That is cool. I'm gonna stir it now lightly. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. This soup just needs to be served with some green onions and tasted. We let it cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna put some in a bowl. Put a few onions on here. All right, here we go. Mmm. You're gonna love this. This tastes great. I'm happy to taste the vinegar. You can cut a little hot. Got some sour. It's hot and sour. It's absolutely great. It's fantastic. Come try some, Mr. Brooks. One of those, you gotta get one of those mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, try it with a mushroom. I got a little spice in that one. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. If you comment, I'll respond to you. And if you make this or any other of my dishes from my videos, I probably will post it on one of the, my other videos. And I'll see you next time on... While you're in the kitchen. That worked out just right. <laughs> I think, I think the GoPro's died. done. <laughs>